video, I showed you guys that I got a Western saddle. That was really cool. But when you get a new saddle, something that happens, especially with the Western one, the stirrups usually go lay in the same plane as your horse. But I have a solution for that, and I'm going to share that with you today. Hi everyone, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome! So last week I shared with you guys that I got some Western Tack that I'm going to be using primarily on Ethan. And one thing about the Western Saddles that is hard for me is that the stirrups face the same direction that the horse is. They're not twisted out like that. And when you're on the horse, that's what you need them to be. So one solution to that is to get the fenders so that they turn out like that. One way you can do this is using a broomstick. So you just take the broomstick and you put it through the stirrups because that's how you're going to be on the horse anyway. I think. Yep, it'll be like that. So you twist it through, maybe. And that will help to keep your stirrups turned the direction that you want them to be. Or, you can get these handy little things. They're called stirrup turners. And stirrup turners, what you do is you put these, connect these on through your stirrup. And what that will do is keep your stirrup turned at a 90 degree angle to your horse. So it's kind of like the MDC stirrups that I have for my English saddle, but now I've got something for the Western saddle too. But it's got these little tags on it, and I don't really like the tags, so those are coming off. And I also got some fancy stirrups, so I'm gonna put those on too. So the first thing you wanna do is you gotta disassemble the stirrup. which is really hard on a new saddle that's not very expensive because the leather is very stiff. And it's hard to get apart. So you're gonna take off the stirrup hobbles. I think I'll oil it too while I'm out here because this leather is super stiff. Western saddles are a lot more challenging than an English saddle, in my opinion. Okay, so now we're going to try to put this on and the new stirrup. <laughs> this could be fun. Okay, to put these on you'll need two pair of pliers. One to hold the bolt on the end, and the other one to turn the other side. That's kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, but it's off. And it's got lots of hardware, lots of washers. Like a lock washer thing. Okay, so it's going to lay like this. And then my stirrup is going to go that way. So this is how I want the stirrup to lay. So I've got to make this go through. Through there, through there, this little guy on the lock washer or whatever it's called, the other washer, and then the bolts.
I wonder if it's like when you do an English stirrup leather, checking it from your armpit. If so, that might be a little bit long for me. But we'll see. So now I gotta put the stirrup hobble back on, but I'm gonna oil it a little bit too, because like I said, it's really stiff. Don't want to waste my oil, but. And now my stirrup is back on. Now I gotta do it to the other side. while but I finally got it figured out and I'm pretty excited to see how it will be to ride in this saddle with the stirrups like this. I'm hoping it's going to be just like my MDC stirrups. I'm pretty sure it will be because the stirrups are facing at a 90 degree angle just like my other stirrups do so that will help my knees. That's one of the biggest benefits I found to having your stirrups face out like this all the time especially if you have knee or ankle problems, it will really help to alleviate that. I can speak from personal experience. So if this is something that you've thought about doing but didn't know where to get them or didn't want to spend a lot of money, I got these on Amazon, they're a tough one, and they were $8.79. So to me, that's worth it just to, even just to try to see if it's gonna work. Because like I said, my MDC stirrups work great, no knee pain, so hopefully this will be the same. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Just click on my picture at the end of this video. You can subscribe to my channel and you'll never miss another video. Again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride.